Yo, it's Sam. And today we're going to look at how to share your screen on Microsoft Teams. If you've got to do a presentation or if you're in a meeting and you want to show or demonstrate something that's on your screen, we can project that to all the people in the meeting. And here's how we do it. So if we look over in this corner here, where you'll find this arrow pointing up. When we click that, we've got some options. And the first one is screen. So we can click that and anything that pops on your screen is going to get projected and shown to anyone in your meeting or lecture or presentation. So that's good if you want to drag things in and look at a PowerPoint, then drag in a YouTube video or something like that. Um, so you've got those options. Or the other option, if we look here and click on Window, is these are all the windows that you've got open on your desktop or your tabs. Here, if I click on one of these, the only thing that will get shown to your team is that. So if you want to just show a Word document or a PowerPoint or something, and then you want to be able to work behind the scenes and not show them other tabs, then that's a good option. So if you want to show them a Word document and then on your screen be able to type and look at another screen or another um, internet site, then you want to share the window, not the screen. The other thing is, if I go back, uh, you can click this one here, include computer sound. So we want to click that one there. So if you're playing any audio, then if this is highlighted and clicked on, then everyone in your presentation will hear it as well. But if you're playing some audio in the background you don't want them to hear, make sure you click that off. There are your options for how to present your screen. And if I present mine now, everyone can see my calendar. And because I'm presenting my screen, if I switch to a new tab, they can see the new tab. Whereas if I was presenting a window, when I switched between them, they wouldn't see the change and they'd stay with the same. All right, and when I'm finished sharing, if we come across to the corner, then we have this X in a red, in a rectangle rather. When we click that, then we stop sharing. The one other thing we can share, so if we go back to the share content, is down here we got Microsoft Whiteboard. If I click on that, it's going to show a whiteboard and here I can use it just like I would um, a whiteboard and we can choose to share this to everyone in your group and they can collaborate and uh, write on that whiteboard at the same time. So you see I just clicked on that settings box up here and then we can allow other participants to to edit so they can add things to it or we can click that off and it can just be my whiteboard. Alright team and we are done. Have fun with your presentations, your lectures and your meetings. I'll see you after lockdown.